Danny and I are both in a crop sweater. Yeah. What a couple of sluts. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, you can still be a whore even when it's chilly. You know what I mean? You just pants and your pussy. And we're gonna make full diaper underwear because the booty gets cold. <laughs> but it's nice and adds fur. You know what I mean? Everyone loves a fat pussy. <laughs> Happy New Year. I'm the last comic. I'm going to do an hour. Half of it's about my cat. The other half of it is about my cat. Okay? So get on board. It was my birthday. Three days ago. I'm celebrating all year. <laughs> I'm in a very weird mood. So I'm, uh, I was, so my sugar daddy, you guys seem cool. My sugar daddy's been in town all week, and I was up all night long working, so I was like, let's hope I'm tired. <laughs> That's was like adjusting, and then like, are you stretching, do you have to pee? I was like, oh no, no I'm trying to get my pants out of my body. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a nightmare down here right now. I'm just getting like attacked all the time. Like, you know how like boxers, when they get punched, their ear goes kind of like puffy? That's, I have that here. <laughs> I'm suffering from cauliflower cut. <laughs> a nightmare. But I'm proud of myself because he's been in town and last night he was doing a bunch of drugs and guess what? I did zero. Thank you. <laughs> what a superhero. That's my New Year's resolution. Less cocaine. <laughs> Not none, but less. You do a little, just a scotch less. It is, it's a fun thing to do, but I don't know if you guys know this. I was doing research on the internet a few months ago. You know you get stuck in one of those links and you click and it's like a link and a link and a link and you go down one of those like little holes. I was doing that and I found out that cocaine, in fact, is not good for you. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> I found out it was like three o'clock in the morning. It'd been for days. <laughs> I was just on my laptop like, this seems wrong. This seems wrong. This seems, Google seems like a narc. <laughs> Fuck Google, I'm gonna ask Jeeves. <laughs> it's the same response, not good. So I did, I had to quit, and I'm like trying to look at the problem is I'm, I, and now that I'm off of it, I'm very bipolar, so I'm acting like I'm on drugs all the time. I, I was self-medicating with drugs and alcohol, and now the bipolar's in full swing, and so it is off the rails. <laughs> it's bad, and I don't know, and I, I say bipolar, and people I don't throw that term around, I'm like actually bipolar, I've been hospitalized for it twice. Okay. You know, I will say this is interesting. I opened with the words cauliflower and cunt. Everybody was like, we like her. <laughs> we like this bitch. And I said hospital, and they're like, oh, she's serious. She's <laughs> a real crazy person. <laughs> Lock the doors. Like 57 more minutes. <laughs> no, I am bipolar. I didn't kill anyone or anything. I make the fun kind, you know what I mean? I'm just like awake a lot. Uh, and the first time I was hospitalized, I stayed awake for four days in a row because I was super excited about a new t-shirt I got. <laughs> which is just like how the disease works. <laughs> and I was like, this is gonna go with everything. <laughs> Who can clean at a time with this? I gotta fix the toaster. <laughs> so I was dismantling a toaster in my parents' driveway and they called the cops. <laughs> the cops showed up and they took me to the hospital. And when I got there, I got the psych ward, I thought it was gonna be other people like me. Do you know, not like real crazy people, but probably they just need a nap. <laughs> and that's really, that's what I told the cops too. I was like, oh, this is a mistake, I'm just tired tie. <laughs> like, well, you weren't coming with us, us. <laughs> so I get there, it was terrifying. They're like actual crazy people running through the halls, talking to themselves. I just petrified. So my third day in, I decided to establish dominance as the craziest person there. <laughs> so that the real crazy people would not mess with me. <laughs> genius. It was my third day in. It was during drawing time, which is mandatory. Uh, because it's good for your brain. It's very calming. So I sat there at group table. I started coloring my elephants green and making really loud whooping sounds. Like I just sat there at group table and I was like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Now I know it sounds super dumb, but I swear to God it works. <laughs> so like heads up when you go, day one. You know, it's like jail, you rape the biggest guy the first day. <laughs> anyway, so it worked, and everyone left me alone, and I was like, feeling good about myself. Uh, but then the doctor called me on that day, and he goes, hey, Wendy, um, can we talk to you? We heard you've been making really loud whooping sounds. Are you okay? And I was like, listen, Doc, it's a big misunderstanding. I'm not actually crazy. <laughs> I'm just pretending to be more crazy so the real crazy people don't fight out I'm not one of them and come attack me in my bed at night. <laughs> As it turns out though, that's called paranoid schizophrenia. <laughs> and that gets you plus two weeks. 